Today's warm up is to review our five triangle currency postulates and the two which we cannot use because today we're going to do some of those longer, more challenging proofs that we didn't get to um, before our triangles test. So to recall, to prove two triangles congruent, we can use the postulates side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and hypotenuse leg. But with hypotenuse leg, remember you have to have the hypotenuse of one triangle congruent to the hypotenuse of another. We cannot use, okay, um, angle, 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 and SSA, which should be ASS backwards, and as Ben reminded us, that's a bad word and we cannot use that. Now, number one, what is the correspondence congruence, if any, that will prove the triangles to the right congruent? And that is none, because we cannot use angle, 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 so that's four. And number two, given that DA is perpendicular to AC and it already has the right angle drawn and EC perpendicular to AC and DB congruent to EB and we have B the midpoint of AC we have AB congruent to BC because we have the right triangles and the hypotenuse DB congruent to the hypotenuse EB we can use number one HL in number two or number three rather, in quadrilateral ABCD, we have diagonal AC, which bisects this angle and this angle. So I have one congruent to two and three congruent to four. Using reflexive property on AC, I can state the two triangles are congruent by choice for angle, side, angle. And number four, KL bisects. IL, or rather KH, or HK. So if HK is the bisector, that means IJ is congruent to LJ, unless they bisect each other. That I would know that HJ is congruent to KJ. We also know that um, within our question here, the angle H is congruent to K, and using the vertical angle theorem, this angle is congruent to that angle, so the two triangles are congruent by angle, angle, side, number two. Which condition does not prove that the two triangles are congruent? That would be choice number one. SSA cannot prove a triangle congruent to the SSA of another. Number six, given C is the midpoint, I have AC congruent to DC, angle A is congruent to D, and one is congruent to two. Because I don't have um, AB congruent to BC, now if one's congruent to two and they're along a straight line, I do know that they are 90 degrees each. But since I don't have hypotenuse AB congruent to hypotenuse BD, I can't say they're congruent by um, HL. They are congruent by angle, side, angle, and the congruency statement would be ABC congruent to DBC. And number seven, because of the parallel lines, and with this transversal, that would give me one congruent to two, and with this transversal, angle three, congruent to angle four. Again, these vertical angles are congruent, but I cannot prove two triangles congruent by angle, angle, angle. Given that I have side NO congruent to side TO, I can now state that triangle MNO is congruent to PTO by angle, angle, side. Number eight, BD bisects angle ABC, so this angle is congruent to that angle. AB is congruent to CB, and by reflexive, BD is congruent to BD, so ABD is congruent to CBD, and that's by side angle, side. And number nine, given that E is the midpoint, I have this segment congruent to that segment. A is congruent to D, 
and B is congruent to C. Triangle ABE would be congruent to triangle DCE by angle, angle, side. Number 10, AS bisects MP. So that means MS is congruent to PS. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So I do know that they are 90 degree angles because two sublimentary angles which are congruent must be right angles. And then AS reflexive. And again, since I don't have MA congruent to AP, which would be the hypotenuse, the triangles are congruent by side angle side and not HL. So MAS is congruent to PAS. 11, BD bisects angle ABC, so this angle is congruent to that angle. And BD also bisects ADC, so this angle is congruent to that angle. And using reflexive, ABD is congruent to CBD by angle side angle. The proof, so the statements were filled in, we just had to fill in the reasons. One is obviously given. Number two, PSQ is congruent to RSQ. That's because SQ is the angle bisector. So number two is because an angle bisector divides an angle into two congruent angles. SQ congruent to SQ, that's reflexive. And last, because they gave me angle P was congruent to angle R, the two triangles are congruent by angle, angle, side.